At the end of this grand avenue of trees, stretching three and a half miles, lies Castle Ashby House. Set in a magnificent 10,000 acre estate overlooking the Nen Valley in South Northamptonshire, Henry Compton began work on the house in 1574, which was built nearby the site of a medieval castle, hence the name. A fine example of an Elizabethan prodigy house, it was originally built as an E-shape to celebrate the coronation of Elizabeth I, a beautiful house with the ancient church of St Mary Magdalene close by, a fine setting indeed for Lancelot Brown to realise the estate's capabilities further. The 300th anniversary of the birth of Lancelot Capability Brown, the man, his work and his legacy is being duly celebrated on a grand scale. Northamptonshire Gardens Trust are delighted to be working with Castle Ashby on enabling many more people to enjoy a superb example of his work. Capability Brown came to Castle Ashby in 1761 and at a cost of £50 he drew the design that led to a contract being signed by Charles VII Earl. Work began on transforming the land into magnificent parkland. Sadly, the seventh Earl and his wife both died in Italy, causing a delay before Brown started again in 1763 for the eighth Earl. Lancelot Capability Brown restored and probably extended the impressive South Avenue. Views from the house were simplified with new levels being contoured into the landscape. The other neglected avenues were attended to with damaged trees removed and the remainder either incorporated into clumps or moved. He never felled healthy trees if he could help it. The avenue to the east was broken up to provide splendid vistas from the house, including the Temple Menagerie, Park Lake, and onward to Knucklebone Arbour. This parkland is the ideal habitat for a huge variety of native plants and wildlife. A nature walk was developed incorporating a carriageway, where native and European trees were planted. The landscape today is home to ancient oak trees, beautiful beech trees, lime and a magnificent spreading horse chestnut. And not forgetting the statement tree planted by Capability Brown, his stately cedars of Lebanon. These trees provide a home for birds, insects and a fascinating culture of microorganisms, including fungi and bacteria. The parkland was separated from grazing land by a curvaceous ha-ha a favourite feature of Brown's designs. The fish ponds were made into lakes, with a carriageway accompanying a serpentine curve, leading to the newly built bridge. Today, this bridge is often referred to as the Terracotta Bridge. The cascading waterfall links the ponds, providing a haven for nesting wildlife during springtime.
Bathstone Bridge adds to the scene. Park Lake offers two little-known treasures built by Capability Brown. An enchanting boathouse and a secluded ice house. These lakes offer the opportunity for thousands of species, from large carp to insect larvae, to thrive. Not only is the parkland stunningly beautiful, but it also offers a richness of biodiversity. Gentle hills, scattered groves, lakes and woodlands complement the variety and randomness of nature. Capability Brown's landscapes are recipes for ecologically balanced and sustainable environments. He made a vital contribution in helping nature to better withstand future pressures such as climate change. Landscapes such as Castle Ashby are both productive and sustainable, and their careful stewardship is crucial to our planet's survival. The legacy Lancelot Capability Brown left is as awe-inspiring as his landscapes. It has been said that the images that he created are as deeply embedded in the English character as the paintings of Turner and the poetry of Wordsworth. His innovative use of the technology available and his desire to push the boundaries of what was thought possible made him the most highly respected water engineer of his day. He was a philosopher who recognised that absence was as important as presence and as an artist he fully appreciated that space is a vital visual component of design. His entrepreneurial spirit, his undoubted skills as a manager with a gift for getting the best out of people. Perhaps it's not surprising that today he has something of a superhero status. If anyone could improve upon nature, then arguably Lancelot Capability Brown could and did. <laughs>